Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous lecture video, we were discussing about uh, the equivalent resistance seen at this terminal, that is the drain, if we have some source resistance connected. We saw that this resistance, if you connect any source resistance, will be RO of this MOS plus this resistance at the source RS which is multiplied by 1 plus the intrinsic gain of the N MOS which is GM into R. Now in this video we will look at another interesting concept. Uh, we will look at what happens to this source voltage if there is any change in the voltage at the drain. Okay. Now for the simplicity we will consider the same example, the same calculation, the calculation which we did in the previous lecture. We will see if Vx changes by some amount how much of that change will appear at the source okay you can think of it like this if there is any disturbance here at the drain voltage how much of that will come at the source voltage so for that we simply have to find out what is Vs source voltage in terms of Vx we can start by this equation that is Vx by Ix is equal to Ro plus Rs into 1 plus GmRo which we have just derived and for simplicity let us just approximate this as R out is equal to GM into R O into R S. Okay. In this approximation, as discussed earlier, I'm ignoring this one and I'm also ignoring this factor R O. Okay. So what is R out? R out is Vx by Ix, which is GM into R O into R S. So what is Vx by the same formula? Vx must be Ix into this term. Vx by Ix is my R out. So Vx will be equal to Ix into Gm into R O into R S. Let, let this be equation 1. And what is the source voltage? The source voltage is the voltage at this point. Which is nothing but the current into this resistance multiplied by the resistance R S. That is Ix into R S. So your source voltage will be Ix into R S. Let us call it as equation 2. Now let us divide equation 2 by equation 1 that is Vs by Vx. Vs is Ix by Rs given by equation 2 and Vx is Ix into Gm into Ro into Rs. So if you look at this term Ix, Ix would cancel, Rs would cancel with Rs. So if I rearrange we will get the source voltage will be equal to the drain voltage which is Vx divided by GMR. So it means that the source voltage is equal to the drain voltage but suppressed. It is reduced by the intrinsic gain of the MOSFET. If you look at this diagram it explains clearly. If there is some disturbance here or any drain voltage let's say Vx is here. Okay, Some voltage is appearing at the Vx the voltage that will appear at the source terminal that is Vs would be Vx divided by GMR it is suppressed there is a suppression of voltage so this node voltage will not move very much or we can say the voltage here change here is very much small compared to the voltage change at the drain so we, this concept is called as voltage suppression at the source and this is happening because of some source resistance connected here okay this is uh, this is one more advantage of having a source resistance if you look at the advantages of what has happened after connecting the source resistance one thing is it has improved or increased our drain resistance by this amount and second is it is acting like a shock absorber by shock absorber I mean if there is any voltage change here, if you look at this diagram here, if there is any large change at the drain, the source voltage change will be suppressed by one intrinsic gain. So it is acting like a shock absorber. 